RJ, just kind of uh, your assessment of these first few days, and you know, you guys get pads on, you start hitting, and just kind of, uh, how do you kind of think things have gone over the, the first couple of days of, uh, of spring ball? Yeah, no, I think it's been going really well. You know, a lot of the guys are excited to be back in pads to get that physical element of the game we all love back. You know, it's uh, it's been a good first, I think, two days of pads. I think that's what we got so far. And you could tell, like, we're coming out with good intent every day, and we're just fired up and ready to be here. Obviously, no hitting of the quarterbacks yet, but it did feel like there would have been at least a, a handful of sacks today had there been um, just kind of your your assessment, your kind of uh, thoughts on how the edge, edges play today. It seemed like you guys were getting pressure from, from you and Brennan all the way down the depth chart. Yeah, I think it was a good day to get uh, pressure on the quarterback. We did a good job today. Um, you know, I think it's just, it's it starts, yeah, it starts from the top and really just that get off, get off the ball, get off, beat the guy in front of you. And ultimately, as long as we're affecting the quarterback, we're doing our job. You know, obviously there's been a lot of talk about, you know, your three young edges, especially Lawrence, Andrew, Ram, and it just seems every time they're out there, they make a play. You know, Lawrence blowing by a guy, Andrew or Ram overpowering someone. I mean, how much does that kind of, you know, iron sharpens iron mentality come to that edge unit when you guys really can go five, six, seven, eight deep of extremely talented players? Right, yeah, it just it just keeps everything fluid. You know, it's if you could have the, the top and the bottom as close as you can possible, it's just going to be a thing – make things a lot more effective defensively. You know, as long as there's not a lot of turnover, we're going to be affecting the quarterback as much as we can. So that's what we're looking forward to. Just, uh, you've been here before for spring football. What what do you work on? What are you trying to do? Yeah, it's it's a lot of the, the smaller, smaller details. You know, it's it's more of the the micro techniques, you know, like my step, my angle, my hands properly, and things like that. Not as much as the big picture of like, okay, uh, step down, you know, it's, it's the scheme is more understood now. Now it's more technique than anything, just focusing and sharpening on that. You've got new coaches. Are you having to help your coaches a little bit? <laughs> uh, you know, I mean, the, the coaches run the show, man. I'm just uh, I'm just a piece on the table and uh, hopefully everything's going right. You know, I'm, I'm really glad. I'm really excited for all the new coaches. They all bring good energy and I'm glad they're all here. What, what, what's the hardest adjustment for a guy who's been in a program before? You're kind of running the same thing you did before but you got new coaches. Is there an adjustment period? Yeah, it's just a little bit of understanding uh, the situation, the, the calls that they're going to make in certain situations as opposed to the last uh, coordinator and things like that. You know, it's uh, just a feel deal. Like, you know, with Coach Dicker, you, you kind of learned and understood how he was going to call things and in what situations he was going to call things. And it's going to be the same way with Ward that way. Okay. Um, are you liking the weather? I mean, it, it, you, your, your 6 a.m. practices, it could be snowing out here. Oh, my. Like, I was, uh, I was talking to one of the guys the other day. It's, this is a blessing, man. You know, my first spring ball, I'm pretty sure there was still snow on the field, and it was still snowing. It was raining. It was cold. We had, like, a monsoon one day. My shoes all had – they were soaked deep. Man, this, this weather has been a blessing, man. I, I, I appreciate I appreciate Mother Nature, God, giving us – look, the birds chirping. Look at – I don't, can't even make that up. Can't make that up. Wow, that is actually funny. But, um, yeah, no, I'm, it, I'm so grateful for this weather. It really gets, lets us get a lot of great work in. So on Saturday's practice, before, when you split into do one-on-ones, I heard you running down calling someone's name, saying that you're, you guys are going to go first. How much does that competition between O-line and D-line help make you guys better come game time? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's just from top to bottom. As long as we're competing, we're getting better. You know, it's like, we, like we've been uh, saying throughout the whole program, iron sharpens iron as one man sharpens another, you know, and that's kind of the whole goal. As long as we're ultimately someone's teaching and learning and getting better after every rep, we're ultimately going to get better. And uh, Oh, sorry. Uh, with yesterday's pro day and being someone who's been here for a couple years now, how did that bring you any extra energy seeing those guys go out there yesterday? Yeah, I mean it's 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 exciting, you know. It's like the time's coming. The time will eventually come for everyone, you know, and everyone's gonna get that opportunity to show every all the hard work that they've put in, and really, you know, show what they've done. And so it's it's it, yeah, it's it's uh it's unreal to see some of those guys that I had played with for three years that over there competing to get to the next level. So it's really exciting. I'm happy for them. Just tell me about Jack Wilson and, and his development from basketball to football. Yeah, no, Jack, it's it's amazing. You know, from from starting from scratch, he's made a lot of progress, and I'm really excited for him. You know, he's he's the ideal frame. He's like six who knows what, and he's strong, he's, he's powerful, and he, he gets the job done, you know. So ultimately, as long as he keeps developing, I, I think he has a real bright future. Thank you. Go Kooks. Thanks, RJ.